Goat men. What are they? Half goat, half human hybrids? Demons from another realm? An urban legend? A goddamn creepypasta? Stories from these beasts have ranged from all over the United States. From Kentucky, to Maryland, to Texas. Grab a blanket, turn off your lights, and let's talk about goats with three of these horrifying stories. The Goat That Would Watch Me Sleep About 10 years ago, maybe less is when it happened. I was about 18 and still living at my parents. My best friend Jessica and I were really into witchcraft. We had many spell books, played with a Ouija board quite a bit, got into the whole astral projection thing, you name it, we were into it. We tried our best not to look into black magic though, but being stupid teens, we tried to put curses on those we hated. She practically lived with me and would tell me how she felt something in the house. She said, it didn't feel like a good presence, it felt rather dark. I too felt a presence or like there was more than one supernatural thing in the house. Jessica ended up going to her family's for a little bit, so I had my bedroom all to myself. My bed was a day bed that was up against the wall, with the bedroom door right next at the foot of my bed. The edge of the bed where my head was is a closet. Across the room adjacent to my bed were two long windows that went from wall to wall. One night, I was sleeping facing the windows. I woke up to a slight tapping sound. I slowly opened my eyes and saw a goat looking in the window. It had red eyes and horns with hooves placed on the windsill. I was petrified. I slowly closed my eyes and turned my back, pretending I didn't see anything. I kept hearing a little tap, but forced myself to sleep. This happened twice. Then never again. I told my mom about something at my window, and she told me, I know there is something in this house. You and Jessica invited it in. I don't know if that is true, but whatever it was, I didn't want it to come back. It never did, and I hope I will never see it again. I was not dreaming, and I know it was a fact. Does anyone know what this could have been? To this day, it still gives me the chills. Was it a nightmare? Okay, I just looked up Goatman, and now I'm seriously freaked out. When I was a kid, my family used to go camping a lot. We had an RV, and my sister and I would sleep in the top part, above the driving compartment. I don't know what that area is called, but it's higher up and hang over the driver's seat. One night, when I was about six or seven, I woke up because I had to pee. I saw movement out of the corner of my eye and looked out the little porthole window. I couldn't see the torso clearly, but I could see the arms, the head, and the legs. I thought it was a deer at first, standing on its back legs. I remember its head was massive. I always tell people it was a deer head, but reading about goat men, it could have been a large goat. Anyways, its limbs were very long and very thin, making it tall enough for its head to be about eye level with me in the trailer. I remember its arms were out to the sides and bent up at the elbow its wrist limp, and its hands kind of flapping slowly, both of them twitching and out of sync with each other, as if it was upset by something. For some reason, it's the hands that stick out to me the most now and terrified me then. Perhaps because when I noticed them is when I realized that it wasn't a deer. It was just staring at the RV for several seconds then it pulled its arms back against its chest, lowered its head, hunched its back, and limped away. 
No one else saw it. So of course the family wrote it off as, as a nightmare. But now I feel like I really need to do some research on Goatman. Holy crap. Monster at Lake Worth First and foremost, understand that two people share this account. It is written in our bio, but just to reiterate, we are best friends that's experienced some pretty strange things, together and alone, and have finally decided to share those experiences with other people. One night, about three years ago, we were taking a drive through Lake Worth, a lake near our house. We did that a lot, as we were very poor, and the unlit tree encased roads were really fun and creepy to drive through at night. We always liked to drive around and try to scare ourselves, and besides, there was a decrepit old church and the castle to see out there anyway. Well, this night, we were driving down the main road. It was dark, after midnight, and there were no other cars on the road. We took our normal route towards the castle, which was a government-owned building that resembles a castle, with iron gates and stone towers, and turned onto the side street that curved around the lakeshore. The moment the headlights of the car lit upon the tight bundle of trees on the side of the road, I knew something was there. I didn't really see anything so much as I felt it there. Like a shadow at the back of my mind, I asked my friend if she saw anything there, but she said no and I dropped it. I figured if she didn't see it, and really she's far more sensitive than I am, then it must have just been the dark playing on my imagination. We drove to the castle, and I let the uneasiness slip from my mind. We left the castle the same way we had come, and as we approached that corpse of trees, another car was driving towards us. As the headlights from our car met and combined with the headlights of the other car, the entire forest was lit up, brightly as day. There was something there, visible between the tree trunks, some strange creature, hunched and disfigured, loping away from the light as though it were being burned. It was huge, bigger than any deer or wild animal that could be found there, and moved on two legs like like a human, but it wasn't human. Its eyes caught the shine of the headlights and reflected it back orange, the color of fire or traffic cones. The closest thing I can think of to compare it is the creature Golem from the Lord of the Rings, yet it was very different also, more monster-like and muscled. It looked right at us, its creepy orange eyes snapping right on us. I couldn't help but think it could see us, could see how scared and shocked we were even though it was dark in the car and the headlights were blindingly bright. I felt a horrible chill stab through me, like my fear was a real physical thing and it was hurting me. I could barely even breathe, my chest was tight and my throat was locked. As I looked over at my friend, I could see tears pooling in her eyes. I don't know if the people in the other car saw it there, but my friend and I both did. We didn't even pause at the stop sign at the end of the road as we sped back home. My friend thinks what we saw that night might have been the Goatman, a monster of legend from that area that comes out to frighten and terrorize people. But I believe it was a demon, because never before have I been so completely and utterly terrified 